conditions. Let's go to Court Clopping in the Storm Tracker Center with your forecast. Hey, Court. Hey there, Stephanie. Good morning. And although we're not seeing any new rain or snow on the way early on today, the potential for avalanche is certainly prevalent as we have had extremely heavy snowfall over the last several days, especially as you get closer to Tahoe. But as you just mentioned, Mount Shasta is seeing that activity. So that's certainly a possibility in our area as well. And something to keep in mind if you are traveling through mountain areas, snow could quickly start to just cascade down those roads. So that's something that you do need to keep in mind. As far as what we're seeing early on this morning, no new snow on the ground in the mountains. So that's good news for drivers, although conditions still a bit dicey from the recent snow. We're frosty for the start of your morning. It is cold out there early today. So bundle up. Sunny and dry for your afternoon. Doesn't look like a bad day, but you'll want an extra layer or two if you're going to be out and about. And showers return to the region Wednesday. Not looking all that impressive, though. Getting a look at what we're seeing today. The frost advisory through 9 a.m. this morning for the valley. A hard freeze, not likely anymore, but that is going to be something we're looking at very closely for tomorrow. Several sustained hours of below 32 degree temperatures is possible for your Tuesday. That's not something we saw come to fruition early this morning. We're mostly in the mid 30s right now for the valley. Some areas like Willow's back in the low 40s already. 33 degrees for Chico. High 20s to low 30s in the foothills right now, and teens and 20s in the mountains this morning. Winds are out of the northeast up to 12 miles an hour now. We'll see winds as strong as 20 miles an hour possible throughout the day. Today, out of the north, that's helping to keep those temperatures a bit warmer this morning and to keep us from getting the below freezing throughout most of the valley. And satellite and radar showing you a few clouds moving back into the region. Yesterday afternoon, we were still tracking some showers through the foothills and mountain areas. That is not the case this morning. Any chance for active weather is now down to our south and east. That's where that low pressure area is. Now we've got high pressure building in. That's going to stay strong today and tomorrow. We'll start to see that starting to break down a little bit with a wet system dropping down from the north late Tuesday into Wednesday, so clouds returning Tuesday night, showers returning Wednesday, not looking all that impressive. We're looking at maybe a tenth to two tenths of an inch of rain on the way through that forecast. And snow levels down to as low as a thousand feet could see a dusting in the Redding area on Wednesday. So we will be watching that very closely through your work week. Temperatures this morning, low to mid 30s in the valley to start the day, low to mid 50s with sunshine for the valley this afternoon. Mountain areas starting out in the teens and 20s this morning, mostly ending up in the mid 30s to low 40s for your Monday afternoon. And ahead in your Storm Tracker 7 day forecast, where your weekend's always in view, low to mid 50s for the next seven afternoons. Overnight lows down into the freezing criteria. Tonight and through tomorrow, looks like clouds moving back in will help to keep overnight lows a little more mild Wednesday through the end of the week with a chance for showers. Wednesday, dry Thursday and Friday with another chance for showers Saturday, and then we're dry for the end of the weekend on Sunday. But temperatures again not fluctuating much. Highs in the low to mid 50s, lows in the low to mid 30s over the next seven days.